Welcome to another quick tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com Today I'm working in a Finnish designer to show you how easy and fun it is to play around with symbols. Symbols in a Finnish designer allow you to create clones that get updated once you change one version of it, all the others on the screen will be updated accordingly. For this video I'll be using a very simple shape, a straight line that consists of two nodes. I use the pen tool hold shift to make a straight line and then convert that line into a symbol. I bring up the symbol panel. In version one it's view studio symbols and it brings up a panel and I just need to create a new symbol. The symbol will appear in the symbol panel and in the layer panel. I can then go in and duplicate that symbol and start editing one of the versions and you'll see that the others will be edited along with it. I switched to the node tool and make sure I'm working on one of the curves. When I bend it you can see that the rest of them are bent along with it. Even though it looks like I did a full circle I just created half of the lines I need. I go back and duplicate the line a few more times to make up for the missing instances. Once I have all 18 lines in place and I start changing you'll see that the change will happen to all of them and it'll be symmetrical. Before that it was just on one half. This nice pattern happens with just one line in one symbol and 18 versions of that symbol on the screen. The more complex you go, the more intricate your design becomes, the more detailed and visually stunning your design will be. I'm just adding another simple line and see what happens. With these patterns, a lot of it happens randomly. I just add things and see what happens. Of course, you can add more elements, different shapes, circles, hearts, squares, diamonds, you name it. You can add them and of course, they will be duplicated as long as you work within the symbol. It's all about having fun with this kind of design. That includes colors, gradients, transparencies, different layer blend modes. Play with them, see what works, duplicate the working parts. If they don't work, try something else. I'm just adding a gradient to make the circles inside pop and then go and do a gradient on the stroke to give the line art some color. Seeing our line runs from the very top to the very bottom of this shape, I'm gonna do a gradient with three points, top, bottom and center. That way it will color evenly. Playing around with colors is great fun. What's even more fun to me is selecting all the shapes and then playing around with the positioning of those shapes within the symbol and quickly altering the look of the design. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification, leave a comment below and let me know what you would like to see on this channel and I will see you again soon.